everyone. Welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Happy New Year and welcome to a new episode and another new year of Tea with Tracy. Just to let you know, there's going to be a little bit of a different format moving forward. While I'll still be coming to you on Tuesdays, it'll be Tea on Tuesdays with Tracy. Um, We won't be live for the most part, so we're going to be in studio recording some episodes and they'll still be coming to you each week. But as you can see, I have sitting in studio with me, uh, Jenny Miller with Ross Mortgage. Welcome, Jenny. Thanks for having me, Tracy. (laughs) Thanks for coming back. So Jenny is going to be with me. So our first series of the year, we're going to be talking about, we're going to cover like just general, the different types of loans, but then we're going to dive into VA loans or loans that are available to qualified veterans. So if you've ever been curious about those loans or... Um, had some questions about them, maybe you've heard some things about them, we're going to bust some of the myths, we're going to give you some facts and give you some great information about VA loans. So without further ado, let's let's jump into it. So, <laughs> well, again, thanks for having me, Tracy. And yeah, you know, um, for anybody who's looking to get pre-approved for a mortgage, um, they're going to learn a lot of new terms, and a lot of it is going to be, um, you know, the first time, their yeah. first experience. Yep. And um, just real briefly, we're just not getting into a ton of detail here, right. but I'm just going to talk about um, the traditional loan types, okay? Yep. So the oldest, let's say, loan type out there is really the conventional loan. I kind of call it your mom and pop loan. Okay. okay? It's yep. been around for forever. Yeah. Um, and, and really, you either fit into this box or you don't. Right. It's pretty cut and dry but okay. it's traditionally higher credit score requirements okay you've got time on the job there's you know some money in the bank um and and a solid job history for example yeah. right yep. um and with a, with a conventional loan if you're a first time buyer the minimum down payment is three percent if you're a repeat buyer the minimum is five percent um you know there's a maximum of like 45% we call debt to income ratio. So okay. how much money's coming in versus right. how much money's going out. Okay. That 45% is pretty much a hard and fast, right? Okay. You're either in or so you're out. So you're either in the box or, or you're not. So for mm-hmm. those who are in the box and they move forward with a conventional loan, that's fantastic. But what about for those who are not? What options do they have? Well, another great option, though, is really an FHA mortgage. Okay. So with FHA... They're more flexible in terms of um, credit score, even debt to income, right? Mm -hmm. Um, There's just more flexibility. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, With an FHA loan, the minimum down payment is commiserate. It's 3.5%. Okay. Okay. Um, They do charge a funding fee. Any of the government-backed loans, Mm -hmm. we'll call them, or acronym loans, they do charge a fee, but they do allow it to be rolled into the loan amount. So you're essentially financing that. And um, the PMI which PMI you do pay anytime you're putting less than 20% down right. on a mortgage. Yep. The PMI on an FHA is permanent. Okay. But, you know, it is so flexible. It um, really allows a lot more people to qualify. Okay. And become homeowners. Yeah. Um, after that, this is kind of unique to um, our area up here in Lake Orion, you know, in Oxford. Oxford, yep. Um, USDA, it's not the Dairy Association, okay? Right. It's the U.S. <laughs> Department of Agriculture right. or um, the Rural Development Loan. Right. Um, with RD, it's a zero down. Okay. Zero down required, nice. but it's area specific. Okay. And they do have income caps. So okay. if, um, you know, the combined household income. Right. Right. Exceeds what they consider a cap, which is specific to, you know, city, county. Okay. Um, then that's a disqualifier, if you will. Sure. Um, so if you haven't heard of the RD loan, it is most likely because you're not in an area where you can use this loan. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just for that, right? It's for areas that are a little less populated. Exactly. Um, and again, even though um, I always consider Oxford and Lake Orion like sister yeah. cities, major right. cities, yeah. um, the majority of Oxford does qualify for yeah. an RD loan. So okay. that's a little bit unique to our area. Yes. And then um, finally, we've got the VA loan. Yes. So um, it is for you know veterans. And when we say qualified, mm-hmm. there are, you know, um, requirements there, discharge and things of that nature. But yeah. um, well, the great thing about a VA loan for service members, active duty, et cetera, um, there's no down payment required. There is no PMI. Okay. 
Um, there is no maximum what we consider debt to income ratio. Okay. It has to make sense. Yep. You can't get crazy and be a hundred percent. Right. But um, <laughs> can't have all debt and no assets or anything to show for exactly, it. Exactly. No right. Yeah. Yep. Um, and it's the zero down. I think is probably with the no PMI is one of the biggest benefits because yeah. the veterans have earned. You know what I mean? Right. They've right. earned the right to have this option. And it doesn't mean that they don't have any money to put down. It just means they're not required to. Exactly. They don't need to. If they decide that they want to put zero down because they want to, you know, do a whole house remodel or something right off the bat and they want to mm -hmm. save their cash for that, that's their right to do that. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. And for, you know, the men and women of our armed forces, you know, again, they've earned this right through their yeah. sacrifice and service. So, um, yeah. So we want to thank you. We'll thank we'll we'll thank all the veterans. Um, you know, m my dad included. He is he's a veteran as well, and I I know many veterans. Uh, I have clients who who are veterans, and uh, so we thank you all for your service. Absolutely, and it's definitely the VA yeah. loan is a a big um, benefit. And mm -hmm. surprisingly, there's I believe the statistic was like forty two percent of um, veterans did not even know that they had wow. this option available to them. So I look forward to um, yes. Busting the most common myths yeah. about VA loans in um, the future episodes. Yeah, that's what we're looking forward to. So we're going to be coming to you. So this is one of four for the series, and we're going to have three more episodes each week. We're going to come out and give you a little more detail on this. And the reason that we're breaking it out into four episodes, we could cover a VA loan in one one episode, but it would be so high level that you wouldn't really wouldn't have um, a little more of this detail um, that we're going to be able to provide by going going through it each week. So um, in the upcoming weeks, we're going to be talking about, um, you know, different things, just talking a little bit more about that, you know, zero money down. How many VA loans can you have at a time? Um, you know, the veterans closing costs, you know, do, do the sellers have to pay those? Um, you know, is it harder to get it through underwriting? Are the appraisals different? Um, is it just a tougher loan to work with in general? So a lot of these are just myths and things that have kind of, you know, the telephone game almost, I feel like, you know, things kind of get whoop, get lost in the, uh, <laughs> lost in the shuffle over, you know, over time. And so we're here, Jenny's here to give us some, some great facts and information about these loans. Um, so that we can kind of set the record straight. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks so much. So, yep. So thank you. Be sure that you tune in because next week we're going to jump into a little more detail on VA loans. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Tea with Tracy.